Good evening, Nintendo Chit Chatters. How are you guys? Eddie Ray here with you. Hope you guys are enjoying your day. It is uh, March 27th, Tuesday. The launch day for a bunch of games, including The Alliance Alive on the 3DS. The 3DS is still alive as well. So thanks for joining us, guys. Make sure you hit the like button. We have a little goodie here to unravel, to unbox. And we'll get into some more gameplay. If you guys missed our preview videos of the game, we have six of them. Well, actually seven. The seventh episode uh, went up on launch day today, really early, I believe. Uh, so do check out all those six videos, plus today's seventh episode of the game. We're about three hours, three and a half hours into the game or so, I'm guessing. We're actually in a new area too, so which is really cool. We'll be exploring a couple areas today. But we actually have the launch edition of the game by Atlas, The Alliance Alive. So this is really cool. They usually do launch editions for the 3DS especially. And they usually have some good goodies. Um, good goodies. <laughs> they have like an art book in this one. Um, soundtrack and a Robin's keychain. So we're going to open this up live with you guys. And get into some gameplay. We have uh, Dank, Simon, good to see you guys in chat. And I may continue to let's play this game too. I'm actually enjoying my let's play of the game so far, so we probably will continue this with episodes. I'm not sure how often, but we'll see. I'm playing a lot of other games too, so keep that in mind. Uh, but here we have the box. It is pretty nice. I just love the artwork and the logo. Very cool. All right, so let's see what this art book looks like. All right, I don't want to break the box, but... All right, so actually we have the Robin's keychain here first, which I will show you guys. This is pretty cool. Looks like he's a penguin, actually. I'll have my little knife here. I could open this up all the way. Let's see if I can peel this back. Get the plastic off. Get my pen here. I just want to open this all the way up. There we go. Looks like a switch case. The box does. <laughs> I'll be here all day with this bag. There we go. Okay. My knife is over there, away from me right now. So, all right. So that very cool. It's very soft too. That is the Robin's keychain. Very nice. Cool. It's like a penguin character with like a witch hat. Looks like. That's pretty awesome. So we got a keychain. I dig keychains. The art book too, which is right here. This is a paperback, not hardcover, but it is nice. It's one of these, kind of a horizontal style. We have, it looks like, table of contents. It's like about 30 or 40 pages. I think it is 40, yeah, about well, 38 pages with the credits at the end. So we have all of the characters um, throughout the book with their artwork, a little bio, which is really nice. Their names, their race, their sex, and of course their age too. So the two main characters when you first play the game um, are Galil and Azura, who are both 15 years old. Um, Galil male and Azura is a female. Some of the other characters you'll encounter early on are either in the teens or in the 30s, looks like. And then we'll be starting our playing today with two more characters. Um, we're at the point where we kind of switch characters in the party for now. So Azura and Galil are not there. We have Vivian and Ignis in there. And Vivian is unknown, her age. Ooh, unknown. And then, or sorry, Ign Ignace is unknown. So is Vivian. Okay, they're both unknown ages. But the race is Damon. Demon, Damon. So there's a lot of characters here in this game. I don't want to ruin too much by spoiling anything, so I won't show you the other characters in the game. There are some guild girls. This game's all about guilds, and basically uh, the sky in the game, when you first start, it's raining constantly. Raining throughout most of the game. And when you first go to the first half hour or so, 45 minutes into the game, you go to an ancient museum, which you uncover uh, the painting, the blue sky painting, which has been rumored to exist. And this was painted back when the sky was blue. But the world's been overtaken by evil, and you have to figure out why. That's pretty much the gist. There are guilds to join up with, and let's have some fun. 
All right, guys. So launch day for the Alliance Alive. Oh, I got to show you the CD, too. Of course, the game's in here. We also have a CD. And this is a little um, cardboard sleeve. Nice artwork on it, though. That's the artwork we have in the background, too, for today. And this has 20 music tracks. From the main theme to Guild, Ancient Museum, Song, um, Penguin, Soaring, Living Forest, which is a really cool area. We went to the Living Forest in Episode 5 or 6, I believe, so... Okay, without further ado, guys, we'll put all that away. That is a launch edition, so the art book, uh, the keychain, the soundtrack, and the game. Awesome. Let's get started, guys. Hope you enjoy. Hit that like button. See you in a bit. Okay, here we are. So we actually have um, a third party member, and that's Tiggy with us. She's joining us here to help our search. So basically we came across this power suit uh, that can be used. There's different vehicles in the game. And we got the ornithopter, which is like a flying wing. You can glide with it. You can't really um, gain any altitude with it. You have to fly down from um, high points. But you can fly. It's pretty fun. We have that. And there's this power suit, I think, which is the second kind of vehicle, I'm guessing. Or something. Um, but we have to find parts for it to kind of fix it up, I believe. So we're heading to Blue's Oasis and the Junkyard today. We have Vivian, Ignace, and Tiggy with us. So here we go. And Gears Rock is this kind of main, kind of industrial town right now. This is the second main area in the game, more or less. Uh, on the map, above my head, you'll see like a little dot. Uh, the yellow, those are usually guild towers. So we can kind of go around here and figure our way out. We'll go up really high here. So there's enemy encounters, as you see. I'll try to skip a few. Oh, there's something over here. I'm not sure what this is. Something glowing. Got to go to it, right? Examine this. The terrain seems favorable. Oh, does the area feel somewhat warm and fuzzy to you? Really? You're imagining things. No, the flow of energy is better here. It's subtle enough that only Damon with keen senses could perceive it. Hmm. This must be what humans call a place of power. The terrain's also very stable. Energy flow. Sounds like mumbo jumbo to me. I'll take a more scientific explanation, thanks. Okay, Tiggy. Hmm. I wouldn't expect a human duller to understand. So Tiggy is the human in this case. Sorry, I don't know Vivian and Ignance are, of course, Damon's. Oh my, both of you seem interested in this place. Let us return here in the future. Okay, so we'll return here in the future. There's like lava and volcanoes, it looks like. So I want to get to this one tower. Looking at the map here. I think we can go down. Uh, I'm going to get caught up here. Looking at the layout of the terrain there, I have to go down and around. So, so here we have T actually in the suit. This power suit. So in this game, there's a meter that you can build up when battling. Um, the ignition, and you can gain ignite status um, once it's filled for a final strike, which you can deal a lot of damage to your enemies. However, um, when you do that, your weapon breaks. So if your weapon breaks, that means you can't use it ever again. <laughs> so you have to be careful when you're using the final strike um, of who you're choosing to, to use and what weapon. If you like a weapon, make sure you know what you're using. So. All right, so I'm kind of new to all of these guys fighting. I'm just, this is my first time actually using this party, so. So I think there's 20, 44 damage actually, wow. <laughs> it's like a big rubber ducky, that's pretty awesome. Tiki's lucky, lucky to have the power suit. Look how the head pops up. Hey, Prince. It is a pretty interesting game, uh, Simon. It's from the makers of La Grande Legacy as well. All right, so I want to head down and around here. So I want to try to get through this little area. 
You know what? I may have to head down here. Uh, you know what? No. I'm looking at my map here. This is a fixed camera, so there's no C-stick control. Okay, yeah, we can't really get that way. I'm trying to figure out how to get to that guild tower, or whatever that is over there. Guess I'll work my way around and up. It's probably what we have to do here. Alright, so... Can we go up this way anywhere? I'll be very careful. So we can climb our way up here too. Yeah. The enemy, enemy should miss us, hopefully. He's still chasing us. <laughs> they don't stop sometimes, it seems like. So it's important to explore. You'll find um, treasure chests with items and all kinds of stuff inside too, so. All right. So we're supposed to be going to two places, by the way. Like I said, Blue's Oasis and the Junkyard. Um, so we'll eventually get there. We're closer to this tower right now. He's chasing us still. Oh my gosh. <laughs> He's scary. Can I go around here? We can go up. Is anything up on top of that little plateau area? It's kind of weird, isn't it? It'd be a good place to glide, actually. I wonder if we can still... We don't have a glider, though, because... The Ornithopter, I think, was with... Um, uh, my first two party members, which are not here. Premise of this game is... Um, the beginning of the game is it's the world is raining. Um, and there's been rumored to be a blue sky painting, which was a painting of the area of the world when it was blue sky and pretty and there was no evil um, but demons or demons have taken over the world um, there's different guilds in the game too so the first two characters you have are uh, Galil and Azura which you control you have to figure out why there's no more blue sky and I don't want to ruin too much there's a demo of the game too the demo of the game takes you through about a half an hour to 45 minutes of the game the first area the museum um, so do play the demo. You'll get a good understanding of what, what it's about. Alright, cool. The junkyard's over here. It's just a mountain of rubbish. No matter how you look at it, what are we supposed to find here? Hmm. Rubbish. Well, we're going trash picking, I guess, today. Alright, so... Oh, jeez. Uh, we got a battle with this guy. And of course, they caught us off guard. Yeah, I think that's right, Dank. I think Dank has it right. We'll do consecutive strike on this guy. And all we have right now to do is a shot with the uh, steam cannon. Utility arm? Looks like it punches, huh? Let's punch this guy. Be fun. Two consecutive hits. Twin spike. <laughs> that was funny. Slap him around for 33 hit points. So there's all kinds of equipment in the game. You can level up your moves. Um, there's talent points, or TP, which transfers over from the demo to the full game, too. And those points you can spend on, upon learning new moves and that kind of thing. Kind of like a skill tree. Alright, I am exploring. Let's go up this way, I guess, too. Am I going in circles here? I don't know. I feel like I'm higher than what I was, but... Is that a cave? No. Look like at a cave to me. I want to find some place cool to go, but I'm surprised there's no um, treasure boxes around here. Let's head back down here. 
because we were close to the junkyard. I went the wrong way, though, apparently. So guild towers can help you. They can support you in battle, give you information about enemies, that kind of thing. There we go. Oh my, what is a strange tower? This is the Blacksmith Guild Tower. That's cool. So, Blacksmith Guild is in Gears Rock, is the headquarters, and that's one of the branches. I see something like a feather moving, but what is that exactly? They're communicating with headquarters with that feather. It's called a telegraph. Some humans from the other side of the Dark Current were scouted by Damon's not too long ago. It was those humans who came up with the nifty invention. Damon's scouting for humans? There are really daemons like that? Hmm. Well, it just means that strange daemons like, like that exist in the realm. Alright, let's go in here. We can visit. Usually you can um, find a place to sleep at an inn in these guild towers. Uh, you can buy things at a shop. Well, I'll be if it isn't Tiggy. Welcome to the Blacksmith Guild Tower. Long time no see area. I like her costume, it's pretty cool. Whoa, are those two behind you, Damons? Oh yeah, they're like my lackeys. Don't worry, they won't bite. Is that right? Fair enough. Take your time, then. Uh, kind of. Yeah, I would think so, Dank. Yeah. For sure. Alright, so... Some of these people... This is probably the inn here. This is the inn. So you can rest here if you want. You can also save your game at these points. Let's talk to some of these people here. If we can exchange information with the library guild, we should be able to develop even more equipment. That's pretty cool. So there's a big blacksmith, or kind of like weapons manufacturing part in Gears Rock, the town here in this area. And you can make equipment there and weapons. So we sell the weapons and armor we develop there. If you want something developed, please speak with the head of development. We're not going to buy anything here, I don't think. We'll just check upstairs really quick, too. Alright, a lot of people up here. Those kids over there are imi uh, imitating me from when I was in the Blacksmith Guild. How embarrassing. <laughs> Alright, we'll leave here. Where was that junkyard supposed to be at? I don't even know. I gotta figure this out. Because they had said something, and I don't see it on the map here, though. It's probably, you know what, it's probably up here. Uh, I don't know. Wait a minute. Let's go this way. Wow. That enemy shot out at me here. So I think, like, the northeast has the junkyard, I believe, and Blue's Oasis is down eastern or south area somewhere. I forget. We will figure this out and find it. Ignite Hand. Huh. Alright, we'll go back to a shot here. Snake bite on me. <laughs> that, that power suit's so cool for Tiggy. Ooh, we got a golden sand item. Gain some talent points there. So yeah, if this game interests you, do play the demo. Because you can transfer talent points TP over. Alright, can we head down here? We can. This is really like a sh oh, there's something glistening over here. It's probably a gem of some sort. Chaosium gem, nice. Okay. I'm looking at the map as I walk. Yeah, I'm surprised there's no treasure boxes around. More, more gems yet. We've explored quite a bit here. Usually you find more gems. 
At least in the one area I was finding them like left and right, it seemed when I was using the ornithopter. But that's okay. Okay, so. What's that on the map down there? What is that? Little dot below Gears Rock? Is that the. Uh, it can't be the junkyard, can it? I don't know. I'll go this way and check it out. I do like the music in this area, too. It's pretty cool. It has like a techno little bit of a beat to it. It's pretty upbeat, too. I'm surprised. A lot more enemies up here, so we're pretty high up on this little plateau. We're going to be avoiding some of these fights. Except for that one. <laughs> We'll take him out. We'll do a slash. So you will get into chain battles too, with multiple enemies. Um, there's actually two of these, two of them here right now. But it's not a multi battle. It's just the two, two enemy fight. All right. So spear. We learned a new spear attack there. Oh wow. These guys are pretty tough. These remind me of the um, Water Devils. We'll use B Spike again. And Quick Draw here. Only does three damage, wow. Ooh. -hoo. Yikes. All right, so let's see here. I can see this one here. Releases a bright electric burst to attack enemies with a triangular range. That's pretty cool. All defense. Only does two damage to them, the guys. Wow. She only has 14 hit points left. These guys are actually pretty tough. Combustible mucus? What the heck? It's gross. Alright, good. Took him out. Hey, Daryl, welcome. All right, we have increased. So, Beast Spike was learned. Cannon Quick Draw. We got a Flaming Top as an item. And those guys aren't fun to battle, that's for sure. Oh, I want to go down here. All right. I can't see. <laughs> yeah, so these fixed cameras are kind of a pain in, the, in, the, in a little bit of a sense because... You can't rotate the camera at all. It's all where you're located in the uh, plane or the playing field. And the cameras will switch depending where you're walking to. So we're kind of coming back down to Gears Rock here. Right, let's go back down. Okay, so this glowing thing is what I'm looking at on the map. That's the white thing there, apparently. Let's go up and around. I'm not doing too well here as far as finding where I have to go, but that is okay. We found the Blacksmith Guild Tower. And the lava's like cracking through the land here. This actually looks... Oh, we can't even go that way, can we? We can't go anywhere there, no. We are blocked off. Okay, so we can't go that way. Alright, we have to go back up there and probably cross that bridge in the middle. Try to figure out how do we get down to the bottom. Let me look at the map here. Whew. 
Wow. I guess we'll go back to the Blacksmith Guild Tower and go up above and come back down around that area. That's what we have to do. That's what I think we have to do. The duck looks similar. <laughs> well, this is a power suit duck. It's like a mech. It is a mech, actually, which is pretty cool. So there's mechs in this game. <laughs> there are mechs in this game. Yeah, like mindlessly wandering here through this lava area. Oh, jeez. No, don't give me a battle chain. Thank you. Ugh. These guys aren't too bad. Quick draw. I did 27 damage to Tiggy in the suit. Amazing. Nothing dropped, just four talent points. So we're going to head back up. I don't like these guys. All right. Let's see here. Yeah, the Hellbound. They're pretty nasty. And <laughs> Bite did nothing to the mech. Wow. Early in the game, if you play the demo, I think it's maybe right after the demo actually ends. Um, if you buy the game, there's these water devils you'll come in, in contact with. Don't not, um, you know, avoid the, the water devils at all costs because they will kill you. <laughs> I've had that happen numerous times. The water devils, they just totally are too powerful. I've had to uh, battle two in the battle two because at one time it was like a multi chain battle and there was two of them there. It was horrible. I died. So I had to pretty much restart from my last save point. <laughs> it was pretty bad. They're pretty hideous characters, too. Or enemies. Speaking of save, I'm going to save right now because if I do die from those hellbounds, whatever they're called, I want to make sure I'm somewhere. So here. All right, so... Alright, let's figure that we're, this out where we have to go. Wow. I'm looking at the map down here and didn't see that guy. It's okay. Is that thing barking like a dog? It sounded like it was. Let's do a quick draw. I'm like walking in circles today, I don't know why. These areas are pretty complex though, because you can only go in certain certain ways to get to certain spots. Alright, so how do I want to get down there? Do I have to go this way? There's this camera that really has me like I have to get used to this camera. So if we go this way. I want to go through these rocks over here. That's where I want to go. Then there's a bridge over here. I think this way. That we can cross. See, yeah, I see it now. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, I really wish there was C-stick camera control, but there, there is not. So... Sometimes the camera is not your friend, but I think it's purposely like that too. What's this here? Something yellow. Can I get it? Okay, we got order gems too. Order gems are used for like I guess um, 
receiving orders for like side quests, I believe. And he was right there. Implemented the Google Maps into the game. Oh, so a slash. Oh, geez. Not another one of these guys. Twenty-three damage with a bite. Whoa. Luckily, we have that uh, mech with us because she only did three damage with her attack on that guy. That was pretty bad. Well, that's true. That is very true. About being exclusive to the uh, 3DS then. Or new 3DS, you're right. Alright, cool. So that's Blue's Oasis. So... We went to a point uh, where we were close to the junkyard. I didn't see the junkyard, though. I must have went the wrong way. Because the characters even said about the junkyard being close by. Um, but here's Blue's Oasis. These are both areas we have to go to, so... I really hate dealing with that guy, but we have to make a stop to get that thing we need. Hmm. The architecture isn't bad for a city built by humans. You talking about that weird, pointy building? I don't get how anyone would like something that looks so outdated. It's fine that you don't understand. I can expect a, expect a runt like you to share my ref, uh, refined taste. <clears throat> Shut up, you demon doggy. <laughs> now, now, more importantly, we should hurry and head over there. I can't stand still from all that excitement. Very excited, yes. So it's like a little bit of a lake in here. That's pretty cool. Blue's Oasis, I guess it would fit proper. We're at Blue's Oasis. One of the parts I need is here. It appears to be quite a scenic location. I look forward to our investigation. Hey, airheaded Damon Focus, we're not here to sightsee. Such insolence. How dare you take that tone with my mistress? <laughs> now, now, let's all enjoy yourselves. Yep, it's time for fun times. And more fun times. So what kind of part do we need? Azure Fort. There's a pub. Up here is a house. Well, that's cool. Let's go in the pub and check it out. d d, -d -demons. I am not scared of demons anymore. Lord Blue is a hundred times scarier. Lord Blue, huh? Please try our signature deluxe meat pie. Here, have a sample. Hey! I'll try a sample of deluxe meat pie. It's so delicious. I know, right? Please buy as many as you like. I wonder how much they are. 120. We'll buy two deluxe meat pies. Come again. They were tasty. This is my best friend. Friendship's got nothing to do with being a beast folk or human. So beast folk is a race. In the game. Okay. So there's an inn. Let's go to uh, Blue's office. It's probably where we have to go. Oh, you know what? We have to talk to these guys, I'm assuming. To get by. The oasis is up ahead. I can't let you through. What? Okay, fine. Be that way. I bet we have to go to one of the houses, maybe. And talk to somebody? We'll see. Hurrah! We're Lord, Lord Blue warriors. My life belongs to Lord Blue. So they uh, sleep here. Not much of a uh, bed, though. Like a sleeping bag, basically. Aha, oh, look at that. Up at the top. Pretty cool office. Oh, what an unusual combination of guests. It's been a while, Blue. So Tiki here is the human. Uh, Ignace and Vivian are the uh, demons. 
But let's cut with the pleasantries. I'll get right to the point. I want you to hand over that. Jeez. <laughs> I'm patient ever, Diggy. That said, you're talking about my business lifeline. You could say that this, this oasis only exists because I possess it. I know all of that, so what do you want for it? Hmm, let me think. Well, was that one million gold or, or coins should be sufficient? I don't have money. Now, now, don't tell me you're expected me to give it away for free. Giving away for free would be nice. Or I wish, but I know you want something in exchange. You corrupt merchant. Haha, -ha, so you do understand after all. Very well, I have a request for you then. For a while now, a certain monster has made our oasis its den. It's been infested by pests for some time, but the beast in question has been causing us no end of trouble. It's interfering with my bottom line, so please, kill it. Hmm, monster slang? That's easy enough. Is it a water devil? No. In a sense, it's even more powerful and formidable than a water devil. Go take a look. That's not good, because water devils are tough. Have I seen him somewhere before? He said his name was Blue, right? He seemed like he could be a daemon. Just who is he? Hey, you two. We need to get down to the oasis. Looks like we can go down there now. I'm blue, I, th I think. So we'll go down. Can we get through here now or no? I received word from Lord Blue. The monster is in the oasis up ahead. Good hunting. All right, guys, it's time for some monster hunting here. Good question, Daryl. I don't know. <laughs> wow. There's a lot of monsters here. Now, where's that monster? <laughs> yeah. Okay, then. Huh, was, what was that? Madam, there's something over there. Ah, oh, was it shooting things at us? Gah! We're all down. What's up with those attacks? We'll never get close at this rate. They aren't lethal, fortunately. The music has changed. It's battle music now. It seems that our only two choices are to grit our teeth for a frontal charge or to fight our way through while avoiding its attacks. All right. So you can change your formation. Let me see if we do this. Uh, Raven Wing. Speed and heal for support. Kind of like that, actually. Let me save right now as well. Just in case. It's time to monster hunt. <laughs> oh geez, are you kidding? A battle chain of three? That's not good. Ooh, what are these guys? Water striders? Sluggers aren't too bad. Ooh, Silk Spinner. Trying to avoid these guys, we get into a battle chain. Sluggers are like your, um... Slimes, basically. And <laughs> the slap with the utility arm, it's awesome. Alright, what else is in the battle streak here? What are these guys? Yeah, Ravenwing's fine. These are flying fishes. All 
All right, learning something new here. Double tap. Cannon double tap learned. Awesome. All right, took him down. Final battle, though. One more flying fish. That was a battle chain of three. They give you the creeps. <laughs> Let's do a shot. All right, and we're also learning sword switch. Awesome. That was overkill. But we got 21 talent points there. Not bad. Increasing. We learned some new moves. Also got an item. Are you kidding? I got knocked down. We're gonna go to switch. And again, the yellow meters below us are for ignition, the special final attack, final strike we can actually do if we need to. But it does break the weapon if you missed my um, talking about it earlier. Oh, geez. They're pretty creepy, those things, aren't they? This was a two battle streak, yeah. I forgot it was. Double tap. The mech looks so cool. Rubber ducky mech. Spider Claw did nothing. That was a, th a third. I didn't know it was a chain of three. Boom. There we go. All right. Hey, you got a stargazy pie. Some money. What? Oh, jeez. Oh, no. A four battle chain. Are you kidding? There's, like, deeper water I couldn't walk through, so I had to, like, walk between it, and then I got into this mess. Yeah, it is really tough to escape, especially when it didn't... Done with the battle, like, you're right in it, like, right away. This isn't too bad, though, because they're just single enemies, apparently. So. But yeah, once you hit A, when the battle's over with, you're, like, right in the thick of things, again. As far as moving goes. This is another one of these guys. Well, there's two of them, though. This is a chain of four, I think, so... No damage! There we go. Now we have three of them. <sighs> hey, support levels up, that's good. So being in this Raven formation, the support is there.
Did a bit of damage to us there. Take him out. Nine. <laughs> We're like slicing each other. We did 36, they did nine damage to us. Oh! Really? I'm just trying to like, figure like where to go. I mean, they said I could um, take the enemy head on, or like go around him and dodge his attacks. But by dodging, I get into all this big mess. <laughs> oh my! I'm trying to figure out where to, where to move to and things, but it didn't work out very well. That did nothing. That slash. That was a waste. Ah, oh, Flying Fish is back. So you can change the battle speed, of course, but I don't mind this speed of battle. It's fine. They do keep ambushing me. I think the the monster we have to kill is one that was like surrounded by other monsters, basically, like straight ahead of us, basically, um, in the water. We kind of went past them earlier. What is that? <laughs> They're so quick. Oh. I sped up the battle there. Oh, jeez. Okay, how do we... Oh, we have to go... Oh. We can't get up there. We have to go over there. Navigating in this game is one of those things. It's part of, like, the mechanics, it seems. Jeez. We an order gem. So how do we get on land up there? I don't know. I don't see any way to get up there. I sped the battles up a little bit for you guys, so... It's kind of repetitive here with these monsters. I'm just trying to figure out where to go here. Like, can we get up behind him somewhere? Man. They want you to get, like, a lot of experience here or something, huh? <laughs> Slugger. Also a block. I don't want to block. I just want to attack right now. <laughs> Good job. Uh, wow, like seriously? Well, the game said we can either dodge or um, go straight for... I don't know. 
I'm assuming we could. I guess we have to. I guess we have to fight it. I guess we do. I was assuming they meant like you could um, avoid its attacks and get what you have to get, but I don't think so. Maybe not. I was looking for like a landmass where I can get up in the uh, area surrounding it, behind it, but I, I guess we can't do that. Does that make sense? Like I'll go back towards the monster. I just want to see if anything's over this way. Oh look, chest. Imperial eggs, nice. But we need more than that, so... Here we go. Hey, Flaming Red, how are you? No doubt about it, the octopus is our target. I've heard of a delicacy made of octopus in the human world called takoyaki. I'd love to try some. Madam? Okay. Ooh, we can create a, a, a sword. That's pretty cool. That's zero? Wow. on Tiggy. That was a good hit. Nothing on the twin spike there. Jeez! Yikes. Hey, Ashley, welcome. Nothing on that. Wow, hard rain, okay. We're almost at ignition here, guys, which is good. We deal our final strike, hopefully. Oh, we got him. There we go. Alright, so what do we get? Rainstone. Level up some moves. Money. Now give us what we need. Alright, we won. Now to finish it off. Please wait, Professor. What, Vivian? To me, this monster bears us no ill will. It's more like he was playing with us, his own form of kinship, so to speak. Do you agree? But Blue told us to kill it. He's a cold-hearted businessman who pulls the strings behind this realm's economy. You're making a big mistake if you think he'll be swayed by emotion. 
There's no way we can come up with one million. And there might be no other way to get what we need. Even so, I believe that a calm decision is required. Hmm. What should we do, guys? What should we do? Finish it off or let it flee? What do you think? I'm going to wait a little bit here to see what you guys think. <laughs> finish it off or let it flee? I don't know. Um, I say finish it off. That'd be my decision. Hmm. I'm probably going to go with finish it off. Why are you hesitating? It must be done. Daryl says finish it off. Did you hear that? Oh. Only my hands needed to be bloodied by this task. Ignace. Thanks. <laughs> so only he did it, so. Let's head back and report to Blue. Alright, guys. We're going to save our game here. We're going to end. We did about an hour today. Almost an hour of the live stream for launch day. And we'll continue, continue on with this game. We'll be heading back to Blue in the next episode to talk to him. And hopefully he'll give us what we need. And we have to find the junkyard as well in this area of Chapter 8. So that was pretty cool. <clears throat> so hope you enjoyed. Make sure you guys hit the like button for us. And uh, make sure you go to the right area here. <laughs> so we're at the end here. Cool. So we're going to save spot. So we unboxed the launch day edition. And I hope you enjoyed that. If you missed it, make sure you watch the replay of the stream. All right, guys, and that will be it. Thanks for joining us. That is everything. I'm Eddie Ray for NintendoChitChat.com. Good to see you guys out there. Make sure you hit the like button and join us for more Alliance Live very soon. Take care, guys. Have a good night.